get it one BH and Dad here. We're going to do the unboxing of this Lenovo Tab M10 HD. Now this is a very affordable tablet and I've got a very special guest to do the unboxing with me today. So I've got here to join me. G'day, how's it going? All right, all right. We're gonna do the unboxing of this tab. So this is a very surprisingly uh, kid-friendly tablet. So they boast it is and it is a very affordable so it's been fantastic for a lot of parents now it's price range here in Australia you're looking at around about $200 so that's very affordable there for a lot of people now I'm gonna do an unboxing with her my little daughter and we're gonna have a look see how this goes uh, and this does have a very nice feature of being kids friendly as well too so let's see how that goes so as always you know, you're new to my channel Welcome, and for those who have joined me again, as always, you know I've got my good old knife for the unboxing, but today is a special one. I don't think we're gonna use my usual knife for the unboxing today. We've got a kid here, so let's go with a more kid-friendly scissors here. All right, do you wanna do the, do this? You want me to do it or you wanna do it? Uh, I'll, I'll be doing it. Okay, I'll do it, okay. Here we go, we'll get around here, okay, so. We'll just give this a nice little flick. This is a little difficult. There we go. How's that go? Oh, did I hit you? Sorry. Yeah, you I I me. I know I should have did away from the box, didn't I? I keep doing forgetting to do that, don't I? Yeah. All right. You want to hold on to the scissors? I will slowly. Do you want to rip this open? You want to rip this open? Okay. You, no, I'll take this one. And you want to rip this open? Give this good. Rip it open. Give it a nice big thing. Yeah. There we go. What do we get? Ah, oh, yeah, I'll just take that one over. There we go. There we go. Give it a nice good rip. Yeah. And then throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. That's it. See, that's good. All right, now we've got two more little stickers here. I think we've done the sticker, so let's try this. Oh, no, we're going to do this sticker as well, too. Let me get this one here. I'll, I'll make sure this time I'll go away from us, okay? All right, here we go. Give a nice little, oh, missed it. There we go. That did it right. Okay, let's see. If can... Okay, that's a little harder to open. So let's try and open this thing. Now, this has a Snapdragon 429, a quad core, but it really doesn't matter to a lot of kids because we'll find out what happens. Okay, do you want to pull this little tab out here? Give it a nice little pull. Grab it, yep. Oh, it's a heavy one, is it? Give it a nice little Here we go. We'll do it together. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. How nice is that? I'll just chuck this box away. Oh, okay. Lift it up. Give it a lift. Lift it up. Lift up that way. Yeah. Oh, bring it across. Oh, there we go. Oh, hold on a second. We nearly got there. Look at that. Now, oh, you want to pull that straight away. This is straight away here. You got to show everyone that's what it looks like. Look at that nice tab though. This is a 10 inch display. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's a, and it's resolution is 1280 by 800. Now there is a full HD version of this as well, which is a 1080 by 1920. Sorry, I've got the numbers around there. So it's 1920 by 1080. Now this one here, the full HD and the HD version, that's mostly the difference there. So, but most of the times, I don't think kids are gonna worry about the difference of these here. Now it's about $120 here in Australia, the difference between full HD and the HD version. And seriously, for a kid, you might actually want to think about the HD version because quite simply, for $120, you can buy a lot of apps there. And I think they'll appreciate that more than the resolution there, don't you? What do you think? Do you want yeah. more games or applications? Yes? Yeah, okay. No worries. Let's have a look. I'm going to throw that away. We're going to have a look what's inside here as well, okay? We'll come back to this one, right? All right, let's have a look. Let's bring that up. Yeah, we got open. What's on there? So let's come out. All right. You want to grab that as well in there? Can you grab inside what's in there? What's that? What do you think that is? Hey, okay. oh, you can try and look what's inside there. What's in there? Have a look. Anything else in there? Oh, just paperwork. Hey, okay. have a look. Paperwork. Bring it up. Oh, so paperwork. You know what you do with paperwork? Throw it on the ground. We don't need that. Throw it on the ground. Yeah, that's a proper way. And have this one. We don't need this as well. So throw that away. All right. 
Oh, sorry, we need, do need something from here. I'll go grab the stuff too. Oh, we did throw something too much away. Now, there is, she's just throwing away. Oh, you okay? All right, here we go. There we go. Now, there is here a SIM pen as well. So the SIM pen, I'm taking guess you can probably put in a SIM card here, which you can, I can see that. You can put a SIM card in there or an SD card. So it's one of the two. We'll have a look at what that can be done. Now, it also comes with a power adapter and that's USB, and that is, let's have a look what end of this is. It's micro USB. So USB A to micro USB. I'm sure you've got plenty of these cables lying around, but that's quite a nice there. So we'll just move that across down that way here. We don't need to look at this one here. We'll put that across here. Now, let's have a look at this. Hopefully it's charged up. Now, where's the power button? Let's have a look. So let's have a look what ports we've got here. We've got the headphone jack. We've got the micro USB, and then I think this is a nice little hole there. This is where the tray is. I'm thinking that's actually a SIM, or it could be a SD, micro SD card reader there. Now, at the bottom here, sorry, hey, look at this, have a look at this. Oh, don't play that one there. We'll move that away. Have a look at, and then on the bottom here, we can see some connectors. So you can actually put a keyboard cover onto this as well which is quite nice. Hmm. We will have a look at it later. I don't think kids are going to need to do the typing yet. All right. Now I can see there's a power button and an up and down volume keys. And I can definitely see some speaker holes at the top there. So that's kind of nice. So it is front facing. You want to press onto the power here. Press that little button. Let's have a look. Anything there happening? Let's have a look. Give a nice good press. Oh, I can feel it just vibrate. Nice. How about this? I want to have a look. We'll just hear it up. Now this is running off. I think it comes pre-packaged with Android 9, but I know that you can upgrade to Android 10. So we'll just see how long it takes to boot up. Yeah. What do you think about this? Does that look nice? Yeah. Yeah. You press that one there. Wow. And I can definitely see it's got a web. It's got a camera in the front. So if you want to do zooms, if you're going to take all of this, now it can do multi-user switching as well. So that's actually good. So you can actually use it. And then after that, you can switch your user and have all the stuff for the kids. So you don't have them playing with your working mouse if you want to that. So it's just quite nice. Oh, okay. We, we don't want to power that off. Okay. You're going to press start. Yeah. Good stuff. Ooh. And then click on more more all right and then accept good stuff well it looks like she can take her hand it's asking for wi-fi so let me quickly boot into wi-fi mode okay it's just getting wi-fi right now and we're going to have a look at what we're going to do so it's just going for straight looking for updates now so we're just going to see what we can find hopefully i'm just going to skip the updates for the time being and then we'll fly through and see hopefully how does the speakers work on this probably a lot of youtube or other applications there for it now we've finally got this thing all set up here and we've actually skipped a few things but i also as the setup i realized you can actually do facial recognition too as well so that's really good for a multi-switch user there if you're a parent and then you have it for the kids so it should be able to switch there yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right let's have a look let's try youtube first see how that goes let's see how the sound on this goes there so i'm just going to bring up youtube here now and let's do this very quickly so let's try out uh this little kid who's actually playing this is just first thing in here coming up and i've got some audio some it's just an ad going through anyway so let's bring this thing hey everyone let's see how Let's see if we can actually bring up the volume of this. How loud can this go? So. Oh, look at that. What do you think of that, Afi? Let's see. I'm going to just go bring this out. So this is kind of looks like. Oh, sorry. I've got something. Got it. Full screen mode. It actually does okay for yeah, so sound wise. It's all right. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it'll be enough for a lot of kids. I'm just going to bring this down for the volume now anyway. So I'll find another one with a bit of bass. So let's just see how it goes with the bass. So this is just your bass anyway. So let's have a look. Now uh, it doesn't look like it's got very much bass anyway. So sound wise, you're looking at pretty average bass and uh, it's kind of what I expected because quite simply, this is a very, very budget 
tablet and I, but it's absolutely fine for kids. I? I don't think they're gonna worry about the difference of sound quality there, but it's, I can definitely feel it's a very nice solid feel to this here. Uh, yeah. There's not much flex involved in the here as well too. Very light as well. And you can hold on to that. What do you think of that? What do you think of it? Hmm? What do you think? Is it good looking? Yeah. And I can definitely see straight away from some of the YouTubes that you don't get a full screen experience, but you do get two black lines on top and bottom, but it's very minical. Um, so I don't think a lot of kids are going to worry about that at all. I think what they're going to worry about is can it play the, the games and devices? That's more than anything else. All right, we're going to go quickly to see how this looks for the display when we get it. So I'll be back with that. that. Oh, kids mode. So let's have a look at the kids mode. So there is a kids mode here. I'm just going to press it kids mode here. For your creative account, you need to set up a lock screen. Okay. Having a look at the kids account, there is a really nice feature called time restrictions and you just like that into the settings. Yeah, and there is one here called usage time per session. So you can actually set that up to unlimited 20 minutes, 30 minutes or 60 minutes or even a custom time of how much you want for the kid to be on the device for. And then after that, there is also a break time between sessions as well. So this is a forced break. So after it hits the whatever time you did, you put it into per session, and then it will go for a break. So again, you'll get the same options there on Pacific like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or a custom time after that. So at the moment, it's like set to 60 minutes. So the kid can have 60 minutes of screen time. And after that, it will take a break of 60 minutes that will allow your kid to do other stuff so they're not always on the device it's a really nice feature there and of course then you can have your parental password to actually override other stuff and admin the device i can definitely see the kids feature there so it's nice to see that now let's close that uh-huh affy yeah that's it uh-huh i'll just add another user standard user uh-huh B yeah. is for Apple. As you turn off and then turn it back on here, you can flick between the different yeah. users here. I think she's going to finish with that. I'll see her back a little bit later. She'll have a play with the tablet a little bit more on. Anyway, so as you turn the tablet on at the bottom here, you can actually switch between the different users here, which is really nice. So you can actually switch to the kids mode and then or you can switch to the adults mode there, which is fantastic in a way. Now I've just hit myself into the kids mode here and straight away, this is quite nice. They've got a lot of things for the kids already built into the kids mode. So the games, little cartoons, books and all the things like that so I yeah, it looks very nice a little classroom set for kids I definitely like that for sure hopefully you'll be able to see what this kind of looks like in kids mode there sorry I'm just going to try and see if I can bring this to you uh, so I can see there's games there's little activities here that you can actually pre-download for this that is actually on the Lenovo M10 cab with the kids mode definitely a nice little feature I know I haven't installed anything on this yet so quite nice they have all of this and it's actually locked into the screen here so you can't really get into it into anywhere else when you are in kids mode so i can definitely feel that it's not able to get out so it's actually stuck in this mode here which is really nice um, and it's just constricting there it looks very pretty i'm gonna say there actually i think a lot of kids are gonna enjoy this for sure also like to mention the texture at the back here it is a plastic and it feels very durable plastic there for sure and it feels like a sort of matte feel to it and it's got like nice little Lenovo tags everywhere it's actually quite nice here and I think these things you can take off yeah they're just stickers at the front here so you can take that off to a nice cool very clean look and again you can it's actually quite good for actually to do some reading as well too so this is a fantastic device check your emails do some web surfing then pass it to your kids play some games and it comes back to you fantastic little cheap device I've got to say I quite Quite like this over the full HD. I have seen the full HD and again it has a very similar feature it's just better screen here. Now if you're more of adult then maybe that might be something you might look into but for myself I think this one's actually going to be owned by my kid here which I think she's going to really enjoy this particular product here. Now it does have a well facing camera and a forward facing camera as well too. So I'll just fire up the camera there just to have a look at that. So this is the rear of the camera there and it looks to be all right. I'm just going to quickly take a photo of this little nice little tool and oh it's got a fair bit of actually general let me just stay still to take a photo here just to have a look what it looks like 
Uh, it's all right, it's not too bad. So it does a decent job for taking a photo. As for importation there to a computer, we'll find out a little bit later there. Now, as, if, as always, there's also a front facing camera as well. So let's just switch that around. And I'll just take a quick photo there to have a look what it looks like. And it's of course not as good resolution as the world facing camera, but hey, at least it's got there and you can definitely do your video conferencing court so you can still use that as an adult there and for a good for a family type device especially cheap device here now now i do have an affiliate link if you wish to actually look at purchasing one of these here i'll put a link in the description below and definitely that would go it doesn't should any cost you any more to purchase through this affiliate link but it does actually help me in my channel there so definitely thank you if you do decide to actually purchase through the affiliate links and i now screen display wise it actually does pretty good job it's not like crazy bright but it's enough for especially when you're in daytime a lot here and at the moment i've got a lot of lights on me so you will see a little bit of reflection but which means it's still able to stand that up very very well anyway i've got to say i'm pretty impressed for a 200 here in australia this is a does a very good job for, especially for kids. And unlike the iPads, which are a little bit more expensive, this one, I don't mind them breaking around, throwing it around, and quite simply, you are saving a lot of money. You can actually buy a lot of apps with the money that you save, or you can just buy another one once if they do break the screen, because the screens are very expensive these days for a lot of iPads ones anyway. But this is a fantastic device. You can walk around and I really, it does have a bit of smudging, but then again, most glasses have a bit of smudging, but this is actually doing pretty good. And I've got to say, this is fantastic for a lot of kids there. And anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I'll find it informative. If you did, give it a like. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button on my bottom the screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.